Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Tuesday, November the 29th, 2016. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together to take a look at the market, macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. We do create multiple hypotheses in order to have a plan in place for whatever the market uh, throws at us. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, Please send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. This is not a website uh, or a blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do this live every day in the go-to, and then we do live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in trades that you see in Quantum Leap. Uh, for education purposes only, please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, taking a look at the news, we had uh, Canadian current account came out at minus 18.3 billion, expected minus 16.4. Our uh, USD preliminary GDP quarter over quarter came out much better, 3.2 versus 3.0. And then preliminary GDP price index came out at 1.4 versus 1.5. 9 o'clock, we have uh, S&P CS Composite, 20-year HPI, uh, expected at 5.3. 10 o'clock, we've got UB Consumer Confidence, expected at 101.3. And then uh, 12.40, we've got uh, FOMC Powell speaking. Uh, and that's about it for the scheduled news today. Taking a look at the uh, macro to the micro, I always like to start my day with a simple candlestick chart on the monthly. I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA, uh, and I'm looking for slope and separation. I'm looking for the strength of the trend or where it's being challenged or violated. Multi-year upward trend on the monthly violated in uh, end of 15, beginning of 16, taken back, now trading near all-time highs, uh, trading right now at 22.02 and a quarter, uh, above 2200, and uh, we've got slope and separation to the upside. The trend does not even get challenged until we get down to 21.22.55. So uh, trend is very much intact on the uh, monthly. On the weekly, we've gone parabolic after the limit down uh, we've got uh, a technical gap here with a naked cross down here at uh, 21.54, uh, but right now the trend is up and uh, it's looking strong, although we could see a pullback uh, on the Mr. Sneaky on the weekly if we get it, although it is only Tuesday. On the daily, we had uh, uh, 12 days of one time framing up. Yesterday, uh, uh, we... Uh, came down and uh, didn't quite test the uh, low of the full session. We did test it and break it on the RTH session. Uh, so there's a little bit of, uh, of uh, uh, variance between the full session and the, uh, the RTH. We'll take a look at that when we get to the composite. But we do have an inside day on the uh, full session daily, and currently we're inside again, possibly a flag formation but more likely Mr. Sneak in and move back down to the 2195 to test the 9 EMA from above. This has been a pretty parabolic move. Uh, I think it's like 180 some odd points, 186.75, 8% move since the limit down in, uh, in the election uh, night. So, but uh, the strength of the trend is very much to the upside right now. Going to the intraday, you can see that we are starting to consolidate here. Uh, we did gap down on Sunday. Uh, we did not uh, fill that gap. The open on Sunday, or our week open, is uh, at 22.10 and a quarter. And uh, we got up to 22. 0950, but we did not close that gap yet on Sunday close. We're below the 9 and the 20, uh, so we are seeing some weakness coming in uh, or some consolidation on the 4-hour, uh, but the trend is being challenged on the 4-hour. On the 1-hour, we started to uh, trend down, had slope and separation coming into the Globex. We tried to take it back in the European session, and then we're now back below uh, the 9 and the 20, and looking for a possibility of a continuation down on the 1 hour. On the 30 minute, uh, 
more of a consolidation pattern. We had a bit of a W here, but we've come down and uh, we're below the 9 and 20. We're seeing weakness still in the 30 minute coming in. On the 15 minute, uh, same thing. We've got slope and separation. We've pulled pretty far away from the 9, likely get a move back towards it, but the overall uh, uh, is down on the 15 minute as well. And then on the five minute, you can see we've got slope and separation to the downside and we're failing to get back above the nine so far. We do have a naked cross up here, but it's not the ones I really like uh, because we've, you know, we basically came up and then rolled over. Uh, but it is a valid one at 2204. Uh, so mark that down on your, uh, on your journal. Uh, take a look at the big picture structure. You can see that the uh, since we started this one-time framing, I created a, uh, a microcomposite. This is the one in the black. And the most traded price is the uh, 2200 as they defend that area. Got a distribution zone there with the upper side CLVN at uh, 2204.50 and the downside at 21. 97. This will be our warning line today, um, but we're basically coming back down to this balance area. Uh, we broke out of value uh, just before we broke out of value. We accepted price at 21.59.50 uh, area, and then broke out, accepted value higher at uh, 72.50, then up more at 21.80, and then we pushed up, and then we created this two-day balance zone which uh, fought the 2200 and uh, held and then popped up, made the new all-time high at 2211.75. Now we're falling back and coming down to test this right here. If we can't hold the 2197 uh, and a quarter, look for a bigger move back to the 95. The key line in the sand will be 91. It's thin below there. If we don't hold the 91.75, I'm looking for a bigger move back towards the 86 to 83 level, and if that doesn't hold, uh, the first uh, next big target below is the naked VPOC and the microcomposite uh, 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 VPOC down here in the 2180 and 2180 area. And then, of course, if that doesn't hold down to the 73s. We're in new territory, so we should find some balance around here as we accept this value and try to hold the 2200 uh, so watch this 21.97 for warning, but 91.75 is definitely going to be, key, be the key line in the sand. Um, so taking a look at the uh, Globex, uh, Globex high right now is at uh, 20, uh, 22.06. Our overnight low is 21.98.75. We had that measured move. That measured move has not been violated yet. Uh, we can take a look at it quickly. Uh, this was the measured move that we were looking at yesterday. This one, uh, where is it? Here's my zero one. It's right here, sorry. Uh, from 950 down here, there's the zipper. And then we moved down, and the measured move was down to 97.50. We missed it by three ticks, and so far we've come up, but we have not violated it. It won't be violated until we get above 950. So I'm still looking for a move down into this 91, uh, 97.50. The lower Keltner line is 97. We're currently below the VPOC, below the Keltner center line, and uh, below the VWAP on the 24-hour testing the 24-hour value area low right now at 2200. So if we break back below the 2200, I am expecting a move down into this 9750. The extended target is all the way down here at 9475. You can see uh, how that matches up with our uh, levels here. Our uh, 97 and a quarter CLVN is one tick below the, uh, the measured move, and then below that, uh, 95.50 is basically three ticks above our extended target on that measured move. The overnight, my, uh, 
The overnight low is 98.75. Two ticks above the uh, the low from yesterday, and we could get a VPOC shift here uh, to uh, 2275. It's pretty close, uh, so just watch if we get this uh, VPOC shift. Somebody let me know if it happens during the course of this uh, this. Uh, pre-market session, but right now it's at 22.03 and a quarter. And there's a little bit of an LVN right here at uh, 22.0175. It happens to be the value area uh, low, so that is going to be our uh, key trade level this morning. 2200 doesn't interest me. The line that interests me below is our warning line at uh, 2197. Don't get sucked in by the centennial number is what I always say. You know, they love to chop around in those people that are going to be long off of 2200 and short low and then just chop it uh, a couple points above and below. Uh, watch your key levels, not, uh, not the centennial number. So uh, that's about all the information that the overnight session is going to offer us. So let's uh, bring this out. Our, our levels aren't going to change much. Yesterday we were talking about the hypothesis of a move down and, you know, a failure uh, to get uh, above and uh, the value and then a rotation down. That was one of our main hypotheses. Our secondary hypothesis uh, was basically uh, chop and we, we really did see a lot of chop yesterday. The biggest move down was here. I got short on this FUBAR, Mr. Sneaky actually got short 775 and basically held one contract and uh, finally got out of it at uh, 99.75 uh, was, uh, uh, was my exit on that. Um, so right now uh, my main hypothesis is we are seeing some uh, one time framing. I wanted to talk about this. We hadn't. Uh, we have an inside bar setting up on the full session from yesterday, uh, but more importantly, on this micro composite, the last 12 days, uh, we're all one time framing up. One time framing is a simple, uh, simple uh, expression of trending with higher lows. You see that all our lows were higher, or or. Uh, or double bottoms, and then yesterday was the first day we violated that one-time framing. So I am looking for a bit of a pullback. This is a parabolic move, and uh, so I will be looking for uh, areas to short this market. Uh, of course, the risk is still to the upside. Don't let me uh, fool you on that. The risk is definitely to the upside. Uh, levels to the upside, uh, obviously the value area high at 07, our, uh, our uh, high at uh, 2209.50, I would be looking for a breakout to take out that naked close and the all-time high, that will be the next area, and then above that, uh, the uh, move is up into the 18.50 as a target, and then 22.20, And then our daily ATR is running at 25.20 off of the low uh, of the night of 21.95 or 21.98.75. Uh, our upside daily ATR target is 22.23.95. So that's basically uh, 20, 22.24 off of the off of the high overnight of 22.06. Our downside daily ATR target is down at 2180.75. So that's one tick above the naked close and two, three ticks above the naked VPOC down here. So those are our levels to the upside. We've got our levels to the downside. Let's go to our hypotheses. Currently right now, our, uh, our, we're trading just outside of value just above the centennial number 
and uh, inside yesterday's range. So I'm looking for an open auction in range or just out of range, but outside of value. I'm looking for a uh, move up into value, possibly coming up into the 22.05.50, uh, but I'm looking for failure to break out of the value and finding uh, responsive sellers and starting to push us back down, chopping in the low between the 21.98 and a quarter and 21.97, and then failure and a push down into the 21, uh, 91.75 area, our key line in the sand, and then chopping in this area and failure again and coming down into between the 84 and the 80 area and closing somewhere down here and uh, coming back uh, towards uh, this 83 to 80 level and this distribution zone down here. There's not much below the 9175, uh, so if we don't hold that, I'm looking for a quick move down into that uh, in, into this low volume area and back towards uh, you know the microcomposite VPOC here at 2180. Our secondary hypothesis is an open auction in range, failure to get below the 21.97, find uh, uh, responsive buyers and rotate us up and continue our move up and, uh, and uh, come up through value, chop around between 07 and 09 and then break and then make a new all-time high and come up towards the 18.50 to uh, 24 area and close somewhere up here in new all-time highs. Hypothesis three is uh, range bound and a uh, probably a uh, a uh, bullish engulfing day where we just chop around in this area between 22.11.75 and 21.97 and just get uh, a pause day and uh, create more balance up here for the next leg up. So hypo three is uh, uh, a bullish engulfing or even an inside day, but more likely a bullish engulfing and just chop in this area between 11.75 and uh, 97 and a quarter. And then the hypothesis four is a open drive down or an open test drive and a push down and failure and a take back Tuesday and a move all the way down here, down into the uh, 72 area, uh, and a strong trend down, basically taking back the last six days uh, or seven days of, uh, of uh, this move up and come right back down into the 73 area down here. So those are my main hypotheses. Uh, you know, uh, we don't know what's going to happen, but likely to be a fairly rotational day today uh, due to being at Tuesday and uh, due to where we're trading with not a lot of, uh, of uh, previous uh, price acceptance or rejection to guide us. So the, the market doesn't know what it wants to do. So it's likely to get going to be rotational regardless of the hypotheses. Just a quick look at, uh, at gold. You know, I've been talking about the fact that I'm going to be trading more gold uh, lately. Uh, currently, right now, we're below uh, yesterday's uh, uh, RTH low at 1185.40, and we're chopping around uh, in this uh, balance around uh, 1184.50. Um, we have not broken the uh, the IB yet. Uh, so watch which side of the IB gets taken and likely get the continuation in either direction. Uh, targets to the upside, 88 and a quarter in the 1190 uh, area. Uh, we've got the naked VPOC up here at 1189.60. And if we get continuation up into the 1193, 1193 was our main target yesterday. Uh, we did hit it and, and push through it uh, a bit. And then to the downside, if we don't hold the uh, the 1183 uh, area, then I'm looking for a push down into the 1180.60 and uh, move down to test the lower side of this balance down at the 77.30 area. Anything below 77.30, I'm looking for a bigger move down to the 11.73 area. So that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.